$2,000 fourth stimulus check update, specifically focused on Social Security, including retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, VA, RRB, low income, no income, seniors, older adults, and of course, people with disabilities. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now many of you here in the community who are low income or fixed income beneficiaries have been wondering and asking, hey, whatever happened to a $2,000 fourth stimulus check? That's a great question and exactly what we're going to focus on here in the video. I'm going to be bringing you the latest updates, talking about where we currently stand, what's going on with an additional payment, and what I'm watching very closely right now as things are changing very rapidly. Let's get into it and discuss all the details. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. As I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm here for you each and every day right by your side watching all these new updates, the announcements, and any information hitting the wire, doing all the necessary research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what is actually going on and so I can point out anything that you may be able to grab and or take advantage of as a low income or fixed income beneficiary, including money, benefits, raises to benefits, checks, programs, stimulus, or anything else like that. And I'm also watching everything out of Congress, the lawmakers, the administration, the president, and all of these other announcements hitting the wire literally every single day as things are changing very, very fast right now. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and I'll continue to be here for you right by your side every single day. That's my dedication. That's my commitment. And as always, I'm sticking to it. All right. Thanks again. Let's jump into it and talk about all the details and the questions I've been seeing from many of you here in the community. What's going on with a $2,000 payment? That's a great question. Let's talk about what's going on here. Now, before we get into this, I wanna throw this out there right away. I always like to preface the videos by saying this. As of right now, a $2,000 fourth stimulus check has not been approved yet. However, let's talk about what's going on here because things are changing very rapidly. The landscape that we are seeing today is very different than what it was six months ago and very, very different than what it was even a year ago. So here's what I'm watching very closely. And again, this is all going to translate into the likelihood of another check and everything that's going on right now. Here's what it really comes down to. Inflation. Inflation, inflation, inflation is the number one issue that we all need to watch right now. Now, here's the thing. I've been coming across a lot of headlines. In fact, for the probably the last year and a half now, I've seen a number of different headlines coming out. And honestly, every time I see these headlines, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there's a little bit of fire that shoots out of my ears because this is not actually the case. I see all these headlines that pop up and say, stimulus checks are the leading cause of all the inflation we're dealing with right now. That is false. That is not true. Here's the thing. Between a two-year span, between 2020 and early 2021, actually, it was about a one-year span, between early 2020 and early 2021, the Federal Reserve printed about $6 trillion. Of that $6 trillion, only about $850 billion of that money was actually sent out in the form of stimulus checks. So let me ask you, you don't even need to be an economist to understand this. If $850 billion of a total $6 trillion went out in the form of stimulus checks, that's a small percentage of the total amount of money that went out. Do you think that's gonna cause the inflation? No, whatever happened to the other $5.2 trillion, right? Uh, do we think all that may be causing the inflation? So anyway, I don't wanna get too sidetracked in this right now, but my point is stimulus checks are not the leading cause of all the inflation, even though we see all these headlines all the time saying, this is what caused all the inflation, really? $850 billion caused all the inflation out of the $6 trillion that was printed? I don't agree with that. But anyway, my point is, the major cause or the major concern right now is the inflation that we're currently dealing with. Now, let me tell you why this is a major concern and what's going on with all of this. The major concern is the inflation. And we know that the Federal Reserve has aggressively been stepping up over their last several FOMC meetings, aggressively raising interest rates. Now, again, I've talked about this so many times in previous videos. As the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates, they are literally crushing the economy and they're doing it on purpose. This is what they want. They want a major contraction in the economy because this is what's going to slow down spending and this is what is going to uh, slow down the economy and ultimately what they believe bring down the uh, inflation. <laughs> Let me ask you, do you think this is bringing down inflation? Let's just be real with ourselves right now. They've been raising interest rates very aggressively since June. Uh, has it brought down inflation? Have we seen inflation come down substantially since June? 
I don't think so. <laughs> not really, okay? Not really at all. That's a very long time to be aggressively raising interest rates to see almost no impact on inflation. Yes, it's come down a teeny tiny bit, but not nearly what it should be if they really think that their efforts are actually gonna play a role in bringing this inflation down. However, a couple of the things I wanna point out as well. Now the new Congress uh, has been elected, right? So we're past the midterm elections. The, mid, or the, uh, the new Congress will be in place here in just a matter of weeks. That is going to be very important that we wanna pay attention to as well. Here's why. As I've said before in other videos as well, I wanna point this out. New Congress means new people new ideas, new beliefs, new uh, new levels of priorities, right? So the new Congress is going to have all these different ideas. They're gonna have different priorities. They're gonna have different things that are very important to them. As a result of that, out with the old, in with the new, right? As the saying goes. So again, by the way, I do not take political sides in my videos. I'm not saying anything political in this in this video at all. I'm simply saying the new Congress is here, okay, right? We've got the new people elected. We've got the new people that will be uh, brought in as of early January. The new Congress will be in place. As a result of that, does that mean that maybe we'll have some new beliefs here, some new strategies, some new ways to approach this economy, some new ways to approach... I don't know, the American people and what's actually going on right now. We've seen all the reports and we know that Congress has seen the reports because I've seen some of them talking about it. They see the reports. They know what's really going on with the American people, even though they act like sometimes they don't have a clue what's going on, which <laughs> probably isn't too far from the truth either. Let's just be real with ourselves, right? But at the same time, they do recognize what's going on. This inflation is crushing people right now. We know this, right? So, the few things that we need to watch very closely going forward is we need to continue watching the Federal Reserve. What are they going to be uh, doing with their uh, meetings going forward? Will they continue to raise interest rates very aggressively, you know, this year? Will they come out and uh, raise rates? Will they lower rates? Will they continue raising into 2023? What are they doing? What is the Federal Reserve saying? What are they saying with their meetings? What are they saying with their uh, the releases of the meetings, uh, the minutes, stuff like this with their meetings? So... This is very important. We need to watch inflation going forward as well. Next, I also wanna point this out. We need to continue watching the job market. Now, generally the fourth quarter of any given year usually sees an uptick in job creation. Why? Well, there's a lot of companies out there that start hiring people for seasonal work, right? The fourth quarter, it's a holiday season. A lot of these big corporations are looking for extra people to help them, you know, during the busy times, uh, especially during November and December. And then January hits and all of a sudden they say, just kidding, we don't need help anymore. Goodbye, everybody. You know what I mean? So all of a sudden they get rid of a bunch of people or since it's seasonal work, they have right there in their contract that, hey, you're gonna be basically employed from you know October through December and then once January hits, well, that's about it. You know what I mean? Maybe in some instances they will keep a few people on, but a lot of times seasonal work is only a few months and then that's it, game over, right? Well, here's the thing. We need to continue watching the job market very closely as well because the job market, as we've seen from the last few reports here, actually continues to be very strong, right? Jobs are being created, the unemployment rate is going down, things like this. That's not really what we wanna see here. We wanna see a contracting job market. We wanna see a contracting um, economy. We wanna see jobs not being created uh, at the pace that they currently are. We wanna see things going the opposite direction. And again, this is what the Federal Reserve is working on. They want to bring these numbers down. They want to bring the unemployment rate up. They want the economy to contract because they believe, again, this is what's going to bring down the inflation. Now, again, what does all this mean in regards to a $2,000 stimulus check specifically focused on all the fixed income beneficiaries. Here's what it comes down to. As the Federal Reserve continues to tighten, as the Federal Reserve continues to contract on this economy, basically what it's doing, it's like a big old snake, right? A big boa. He's wrapped around whatever he's wrapped around and he's tightening and tightening, right? Just like a snake does, right? Well, that's what the Federal Reserve is doing to the economy. The more that it contracts on this thing, the more that it tightens up, uh, the harder it's gonna get, right? Just like a big old snake, right? <laughs> you've seen the videos, you've seen the, you know, the things where they, you know, some snake handler comes out with a big snake wrapped around his neck or something. He's like, ah, dude, I'm totally fine. You know what I mean? But I don't wanna be that person. But the fact of the matter is, that's kind of how like the Federal Reserve is on the economy, right? So we need to watch this very closely because here's the thing. If this economy falls into a deep, dark recession, which according to everybody that I'm watching, according to everything that we're looking at, the economic numbers and the economic uh, data out there is pointing toward this economy falling into a pretty dark, uh, deep, dark recession. So 
in the event of that, every single recession that we've seen over the last 21 years, or essentially 20 years at this point, or sorry, not 20, 22 years, like 21 to 22 years, every single recession has produced stimulus checks. Let me run down the list really, really fast. 2001 produced a $300 stimulus check. That was a long time ago, but at the same time, $300 back then was worth way more than what $300 is today. $300 would honestly be an insult. It'd be a joke if they gave us $300 today, right? But back in 2001, $300 was actually a pretty nice amount of money, right? That was a long time ago. Uh, 2008 to 2009, a $600 stimulus check was approved. And by the way, in May of 2009, an additional $250 highly focused check was approved for fixed income beneficiaries. That one was uh, in 2009 as well. Also, 2020, another recession. We have uh, came in because of COVID and everything like that. Everything was closing down. Another recession hit. And yes, a $1,200 check was distributed. Now, again, we did see other checks distributed, the $600 and the $1,400 coming out of that whole situation. But again, all of these recessions that we've seen over the last, call it 22 years, 21, 22 years, have all produced stimulus checks. Why would the next one be any different? It's not going to be. They do the same thing every single time. Every single time they do the same thing. The economy falls into a recession. They gather around and they say, what should we do? The answer is print money, quantitative easing, print money, send it out. That's all they do, right? Print money, send it out. R uh, rinse and repeat, do it over and over and over again. That's what they do every single time. So why would this time be different? It's not going to be. There's no reason there would be. They find the same thing to work every single time, they will continue to uh, rinse and repeat the same strategies that they do over and over again. So they will print money again, yet again, this time they'll print a lot of money and they'll plow it out into the economy and it'll likely include stimulus checks. But the fact of the matter is we need to wait to see how deep does it get? How long does it last? And where does this actually bottom out? Well, it's going to be bottomed out when the Federal Reserve decides to start printing money again. That will be the bottom because everybody recognizes when the Fed prints money, it's time to reverse because that's when things are going back up. Okay, so just keep all of that in mind. I know it's a lot to uh, continue watching, but don't worry. That's exactly why I am here. It's exactly why I'm watching all this stuff for you. I'm breaking it down into these videos, but I hope this gives you a better perspective on what's going on with a $2,000 highly focused check. And remember, just like in 2009, there possibly could be a day where we maybe do get a highly focused check only for fixed income beneficiaries. That happened in 2009. $250 went out to millions of people receiving fixed income benefits. Nobody else, just fixed income beneficiaries. So that'd be pretty nice. They should have been doing that realistically. That should have been done a long time ago. I think all of us agree that should have been done a year ago, six months ago three months ago, today, it should have been happening a long time ago because we've seen all the reports that come out and showing that fixed income beneficiaries are hitting, uh, getting hit the hardest right now with all this inflation. So anyway, hope this gives you a better idea what's going on here. As I do get more details on anything out there right now, of course, I'll bring you the latest updates. I'll keep you posted with all the other updates going on, the announcements and anything else hitting the wire. It's a very busy time right now. I'll keep you posted. So again, please make sure to subscribe down below. If you haven't done so yet, share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Thanks again. Hope you have a good one and I'll catch you again later in the next